Hello YouTube. We are playing Disco Elysium. Elysium. Okay. I have played the intro of the game, but I have ne never completed this game. So let's complete this game this time. Let's go. The Furies at home in the mirror in their addresses. The clearest water is the deep in the center. I don't understand anything. What do you mean by that? There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious ferments in it. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. What the f- I know one thing there is that he talks to himself. To his mind. He has 14 personalities, I guess. Forever, ever. Never, ever, ever, baby. <laughs> what the fuck are they even talking? I wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why would you think you had to bludgeon yourself into oblivion? Or did you not sense yourself marinating? Poured so much on yourself. Got a bit carried away, did we, chef? What the fuck is oblivion? Is the definition of oblivion. Unaware or unconscious of what is happening. Or there, an evil ape. Evil apes. An evil apes are juking it out on the board. What the fuck is the You're one out? of them. It's basically all just evil apes juking it out on a giant board. Yes, we are the apes. The genius apes. I yet. Is juking out. To fight especially with fist. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscious sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. You know what time it is? Disco time! Annoying. He looks like a vampire. Seriously, man. Is this me? That ugly? And I 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hold up. 18, 21, I 24, we have 24 personality. Stop it. Get some help. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Emotional, damn it! A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole in your brain. Your eyes burn with- Boom! Roasted! As you slowly reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror. I like his thoughts. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there. And you will never unbecome it. Yeah. There is definitely something wrong with it. Yes. Yeah, lol. Where to even begin? There is the bloatedness, then the swollenness. It's like there's an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it. It doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. It's not. It's swollen and snail-like, wriggling between your fingers. Behold. Oh the fuck, lol. Nice art, though. It appears you're also dead. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? Why? Emotional, damn it! It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. Lol. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the layer that had distorted it for God knows how long. 
boom, roasted. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. What did you say? Come on, say it again. <laughs> no, you see, that's not what you said. You said... <laughs> Come on, man. Pretty, please. One more time. <laughs> Goddamn right you did. You crazy asshole, you. What kind of cup are you? That one, there was a violation. Personally, I wouldn't have it. Don't be. It was funny. And anyway, who gives a shit? Who gives a shit about any of it? So what if you can't pull grade A pussy anymore? I don't think you have the facilities for that, big man. Sing the sad small church song from that tape you found thought it was obvious serves them right wipe that smoke off their face with your sad tragic song <laughs> who's laughing now nice you would need another copy of the tape first though the one upstairs is destroyed <laughs> the man emits a loud snore is he about to wake up okay. doesn't look like it but you never know better be quick You find a black paper note with a woman's profile on it. Seems like this woman lived centuries ago. The note says, five, real. It feels nice and greasy. Here comes the money! Here we go! That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? Forget about the bar. Or don't forget about it. You should totally try to get a drink there too. But first, you should lick that stain off the counter. Yeah, man. Let's get wild. Lick it. You press your tongue against the counter. The stain is crusted at first, but after a couple of licks, it starts to melt like a snowflake. Lord. If snowflakes were made of spiced black rum, maybe it's your imagination, but there's already some lemonade in it too. Oh! I think you may be the person I've been waiting for. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Okay, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? So, the body is still in the tree where it has been hanging for seven days straight. Oh, lol. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Hello, sweetie. Wait, who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chin. <laughs> of course, sweetie. I, I really don't know how to explain it better. Someone more educated in sweeping matters. Maybe you should ask. I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a detective. Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich, maybe? Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. That's a good point. This doesn't look like rich central. I'm out of here. Mr. Gart, right? You run this place. Yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. <coughs> so joining me from Prison 41? No, you cannot. Officer, I was thinking more along the lines of your name. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. This is okay. it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they, if he doesn't know? Oh, people are saying it was the union dock workers, that it was a lynching. The locals, the customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. She went away because none of your business. If they not been telling you you're a cop. You got me. 
she went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. Thank you. Cool. Fast, you owe me 130 real. Yes, that's right, money. You owe this establishment 130 real. See, three nights at a tariff of 20 real comes to 60 real. Okay. Then there's the window you annihilated. The hole in the window was the first thing I saw when I came to work. So don't try to tell me you didn't. That will be 40 real in damages. Another thing you've annihilated is half the bar. You've run a tab of 30 real. Actually, more, but we'll round it down to 30 for your hard work maintaining the stability and order of Revachol. That's 60 plus 40 plus 30 equals 130 real. <laughs> Don't arrest me. I haven't done anything. Someone order a vague, farcical reading of the law. More than one pops into your head. It's not inane. I just... You owe me money. It is cruel of you. A man has been killed. File a request for compensation with Station 41. We need to work now. Okay, you'll only have to pay for the window and the drinks. That's 70. I'll get the rest from your stupid station. I have a shaker in my hand. It's not a shaker. It's nothing. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a bow tie and doing... Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No, because I'm not a bartender. I'm a cafeteria manager. Play it calm. This man needs to understand you need a drink to help the community deal with police stuff. Well, you're not getting it, asshole. <laughs> Absolutely out of the question. Absolutely in the question. First, we find a sad banger. No. Then we sing this place to shit. Your body is ready, sire. Anyway, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. I've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. You don't really know, do you? is a widely used term for members of the police. It's not loving. I am just a gardener. She hides it well, but behind the sweat and dirt there is something else in her rigid posture. King. I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I've been trying to get some work done. Okay. Well, as you already know, there's a corpse there. Hanging from a tree. It smells pretty bad. <sighs> yes, hello. This is Tricentennial Electrics. Have you come to place an order? She sounds almost antique. As if her voice was being played off an old wax cylinder. A receiver must not be working properly. Wait, but what happened to Slipstream SCA? There's no Tricentennial Electrics on the list. My God. The lieutenant exchanges a look with you. It's you. My God, I didn't think I would hear your voice again. She must be mistaking you for someone else. Wait a minute! Who are you? Michelle, just please. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I no, thought you didn't no, care. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> this trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. Container, there is no such thing. Your fingers start to itch just looking at that padlock. We could try using a pry bar. There's one in my motor carriage, or desk for a key from the manager of the whirling in rags. He probably has one. He might also have information. This is better than the pry bar idea. Ah, oh, sh**. Here we go again. Is there something you wanted? What for, Mazov? Are you planning to nationalize my trash container? It concerns the case. Please cooperate. 
just bring them back once you're done, please. The theme on that pinball machine is a standard royalist theme, used on everything from pinball cabinets to full flavor cigarettes, clinging to a picture book version of the past century, waiting for the king to come back and cast out all the profiteers and homosexuals. Basically, imagine a yellow plastic crown with a liquor brand emblazoned on it. See a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. The tire tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started there and then accelerated straight into the fence left a hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager, seeded to back out of the yard, barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building. Before heading south, must have been in a hurry. Something catches your eye. As the legs of the slime-covered jeans begin to unspool from the garbage, a rank corpse smell fills the air. Victim's clothes. Cadaver in odor is faint. If these belong to the deceased, they were removed when he was still in the early stages of decay. Someone removed the clothes. Drop them in here, officer. Right. We should go to Gart again and ask if he knows who put the clothes in the trash. It could be as simple as someone from the hostel cleaning the yard. Or that one. Ah, shit! Here you go again! A blue piece of plastic sticks out from the apple peels. It's shiny. Looks like the corner of something. They look badly damaged, but you can still make out forms and notes, written in a man's handwriting. Officer, is that your paperwork? Yes, it is. Look. This plastic has the RCM street grid on it. You've even got an autopsy form. If you don't mind me asking, how did this get in the trash? The pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Looks like it's time for me to go, Kuno. Pig's come to take me in. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck are you trying to pull? <laughs> Kuno's got this. If there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. No. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! It's loving in the dick! What the f- <laughs> The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Can't talk, pig! Shit's coming up strong! Throw- Shit coming up strong. That sounds good. Joyous. You should hang out with this kid and see what that juicy shit is all about. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? I mean drugs. The kid's on drugs. Kuno uses the fucking for target practice. He's trying to hide the fact that he doesn't know. Kuno knows what you meant. Kuno's not a snitch. That's all. Probably climbed. Kuno was busy down the road when that shit went down. You heard Kuno? Kuno wasn't even in Martinez? Kuno wasn't in Revachol? Kuno wasn't regional? I don't know. Some fucking escort... Or, I don't know. Some other place? Night City? Kuno was in fucking Night City. It's annoying. There is no Night City anywhere. That sounds like the name of a city in some pulp science fiction novel. Why you gotta be riding Kuno's ass? You haven't been where Kuno's been? You haven't been in Kuno's head. You want to know where Kuno was? You want to know what Kuno's been fucking up to? Oh, don't tell him that, Kuno. It's lame. It's not fucking lame. Kuno's building Kuno City. Night City. Rage City. The City of Rage. That's it. And it's not lame. Lame. 
that's the name of Kuno City, bitch. Get the fuck off Kuno's back. This shit ain't about that. <laughs> Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't throw that fuck shit at Kuno. Kuno knows you're lying. Trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. Watch out, Kuno. He's trying to fiddle you. He's going to put his hands on you. Help! Pimp's got Kuno! Help! Right! Help! He's got the Kuno help! Everyone can hear. You need to get the hell out of here before. Ah, you're teasing me, naughty nut! He's digging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're a f pigs in there, Kuno! Somebody, please! How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. Help! Mr. Help! He's flashing Kuno! He's showing his genitals! If you don't help Kuno now, it'll be too late! Fucking logical! <laughs> help! The logical pig is fiddling Kuno! No! <laughs> Get off Kuno, you sick fat fuck! FBI, open up! The nearly psychopathic way they can slip in and out of the act. No one? Kuno's doing this because he likes it, pig. Help! The pig's stabbing him! Kuno! Look! For emphasis, a ghost is saying this. A shit-eating psychopathic ghost with an ace up his sleeve. I know you wanted to hit me. You got that I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up look that Kuno's dad gets. The murder look. The rage look. <laughs> There are several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from 6 to 12 pairs have walked here. Maybe more than 12. No, 8 pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. How many? I was pretty off then. I counted 20. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Woman? Or a kid? Okay. How do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Understood. Anything else? A week, maybe? Seven days would fit the time frame provided to us by the caller. It okay. is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashal. Seven days below freezing. The day before, the day of his hanging, was... Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. The commotion here could have taken place a week ago. Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? A drummer only uses the right foot for the kick drum. You're right, it's stupid. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right doesn't seem to hear you, looking south toward the traffic jam instead. The machines are silent. The we should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam, see whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Right, let's keep a low profile. 200? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker, carrying a similarly built, soon-to-be-dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. I think a mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the victim. They shuffled around, especially under the tree. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. At first glance, this appears to be a lynching. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and looked at the tree. Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over, hoisted him up, watched him hang. The lieutenant's eyes narrow. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. 
The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell seeps in, even through your clenched nostril. TK. It's okay to throw up with his arm. No one is judging. He's about to blow! Cop's gonna blow, Kuno! The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. I'll see you tomorrow.